Ça commence bien Hein Ça commence bien Bah oui, bah oui. <rire> My name is Gabriel Del Canto, I'm a photographer from Montreal, Canada and today I'll be shooting the Contax IIIA with some Cinestill 800C film, it's a pretty rainy day, so we'll try to make the best out of it and we might even shoot some Ilford HP5 if we have time after, so enjoy guys! I remember when I was really young, my mom got me like one of those little Polaroid, you know. Uh, so it was a, I can't remember the name of the model, but it was like a really small one, and you just like peel it apart. And I just, I just loved to take pictures of like everything I was doing. And I, just, I remember I just stick it in my agenda in school. And then I always wanted to get one of those um, waterproof, like disposable camera. As a kid, I remember I always bugged my parents to get me one, and they would never buy me one. And yeah, I just so I kept buying those cheap uh, point and shoot like a uh, disposable camera, and, and I used to just shoot like uh, my friends or anything just for fun. And as I grew older, I just pretty much used my phone, and then one of my good friends like gave me as a gift uh, all of his film camera because he switched to digital, and I just got like full time into it after that. And I started like collecting and buying a lot of camera. Went from 35 millimeter to medium format, and uh, buying a lot of uh, instant film cameras as well. And I'm just full time into it, and shooting mostly uh, 35 millimeter rangefinder and medium format. But my favorite is the medium format for sure. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, if I had to choose only one camera, that would probably be my Yashica Mat 124G, just because it makes the image quality is so insane and it's for a medium format camera it's kind of compact it's like this big and I do mostly portrait and street photography which I can do with a medium format as well it's just more complicated but it's doable but yeah I love the quality of the image I like the format 6x6 the square format it just makes you like frame everything in a different way it's just fun but uh, yeah I think that would be either my Yashica Mat 124G or my Nikon, my Nikon F3. Yeah.
Yeah, okay. just because it's the viewfinder is so big and I have glasses, sometimes it's hard for me to focus with like camera like that. But I make it work, you know, like that's cool, it's a rangefinder and it's it's cool sometimes to just like mix and match. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got the shot. Go for a coffee. Right now we are at the Jean Talon market. That's where you come if you want to get some good vegetables and fruits. Yep, a lot of good like little restaurant as well that you can get. And it's cool to shoot here, especially with the kind of film that we're using right now because it's uh, super colorful with all the fruits and all the vegetables from everywhere. And so yeah, we'll take a couple of pictures here and then we can head inside and see uh, the inside portion of the market. So yeah. Personal projects or something like that? So right now I'm currently working on a little book that I would love to uh, do about my last trip to Curaçao. I was there for a little bit over 10 days and I only brought one camera, my medium format uh, 645 camera and I did a lot of like still photography shots and I'm currently working on, I don't know if I want to do a zine or just like a I'm not sure yet what I want to do with it, but I'm currently just like preparing all the pictures, trying to like see what's going through, what's not going through, and yeah, it's all colorful picture. It's all taken on Ektar 100 on medium format, so that's what I'm currently working on. But other than that, I'm uh, just trying to shoot as much as I can, just 
building my portfolio, doing a lot of portrait, just having fun, man. <laughs> so I really enjoy shooting color film, uh, especially when I do a portrait. My favorite film is Ektar uh, 100, just because I, I do a lot of street photography landscape, and I just think the colors look so amazing, especially when you travel in the south. But I do love a lot to do a lot of black and white, just because I can. Dip, I get like the the possibility to just push the film if I want to and I tend to shoot a lot when it's dark outside or at night or even days like today that it's pretty uh, rainy or anything so I usually just push my film to 1600 or 800 depending on the situation so for me to always have black and white film on me is just so much more easier than carrying let's say a 400 film color and then you're so limited because it's getting darker so I tend to shoot a lot of black and white but uh, for sure, when I shoot medium format, I love to get that nice, those nice color tone, especially for portrait, like portrait, hectare, and stuff like that. But yeah, I think black and white is the way to go on my everyday life. Yeah. Cool. across the street yeah. and uh, yeah if you want to check my work my uh, Instagram is Gab Del Canto so all together no space no nothing and if you want to check my website I'm currently adding some more stuff so it might not be available right now but it's GabrielDelCanto.com simply and yeah so see you next time hopefully we get to shoot a portrait session next time alright <laughs>